Have you ever said to yourself, I wish there was a simple way for me to view my project information. There are too many reports for me to figure out what's going on. I know what I want is InVision, but I can't find it. How can I review my project plan in the field without logging into Vision? Introducing Deltec Vision Navigator. Navigator is a revolutionary new tool intended to give project managers what they need to plan, review, and execute their projects in a streamlined and consolidated manner. This is a tool that benefits the project managers by giving them just what they need to do their job while simultaneously benefiting the organization through facilitating the collection of more accurate and complete project information and closely monitored projects. Deltec Vision Navigator. It's your one-stop shop for all things project management. It's browser independent, so you can access from any web browser, on any PC, and even Mac. It's tablet ready for access on the go and accessible from anywhere you have an internet connection. When you launch Vision Navigator, you're prompted to log in just as you would if you were logging into Vision proper. Once you enter your username and password, you're presented with the main Navigator interface. The interface is divided into three primary areas. The upper right side of the screen contains the basic menus for accessing options, help, and the link to log out. The center of the screen contains the primary work area spread across two tabs, planning and dashboard, which we'll look at further in just a second. And then the left side of the screen contains the project list, which is what provides access to the project with which you'd like to work with in Navigator. The first time you log into Navigator, the project list will include all active projects on which you are the project manager. However, we've created various predefined selection sets that will allow you to control what projects appear in the project list. The project manager view is the default view and as previously mentioned shows all active projects in which you are the project manager. We have also built predefined selection sets based on your organization structure so that you can show only projects that are in your levels of the organization, for example, your office or your discipline. If none of these predefined options provide you with the projects you would like to access in Navigator, you can create your own by selecting My Selection Set from the Selection Set pull-down menu. The first thing to make note of are the warning indicators that can appear within the project lists. The yellow triangle indicates that there has been no contract amount specified for the project that is in the compensation amount in the Project Info Center. The red circle indicates that the estimate at completion is higher than the contract amount, implying that the project is currently trending to finish over budget. When you select a project, you will be presented with the project summary information, as well as a number of charts that provide key status-related information on the project. The top part of the dashboard shows basic summary information that includes project number, manager, and the start and end dates for the selected project. In addition, some core project financial information is shown as well, like the contract amount, the current estimate at completion multiplier, job to date labor billing, and estimate at completion. Dash parts can be maximized to take up more screen area, making them a little easier to read if needed. Dash parts can also be swapped so those relevant to the user are displayed. The Planning tab in Navigator is where you will go to build, review, and maintain your project plans. This tab contains the same labor plan summary and labor plan timeline charts that are shown on the dashboard and also contains the primary project plan worksheet. These components of the Planning tab will reflect the information for the selected project. For a project in progress, the Planning tab can be used to review where you are on the project and identify some adjustments that need to be made to the plan to keep the project in line with the budget. The Labor Plan Summary and Labor Plan Timeline charts on the Planning tab are essentially the same as they are on the dashboard. However, they do display information based on what is selected in the plan worksheet. In other words, if you want to see the labor plan timeline and summary chart show information related to a specific phase or task, you can simply select that row within the planning worksheet and the charts will update appropriately. When a new project record is created and made available in Vision, that project will then be visible inside of Navigator. Let's look at a new project. 
As a new project, the first thing you may want to do is assign an image to the project to allow for quick visual recognition. This can be done very easily by clicking on the image and selecting from either a library of predefined images or by uploading your own image which could be one of the project itself or a client logo. For a new project, building the project plan will most likely be one of the first tasks in Navigator and this can be done from the planning tab. The plan worksheet uses a hierarchy and contract values that come from the project work breakdown structure. For many organizations, this is a three-level structure with project at the top level, phase at the second level, and task at the third level. When working with the planning worksheet, we first look at the plan state icon. For a new project, no plan will exist at first in Navigator. We can create a new plan. Project settings can also be edited to control the calendar scale of the plan, the target multiplier, and the rate method and source for the plan. These settings will default based on the configuration for plan settings within Vision, but can also be changed as needed on a per project basis. When working in the plan worksheet, you can expand the planning worksheet, which will hide the charts and provide a little more screen real estate in which to work. When building a plan, there are really only three values that need to be edited in Navigator. The first is the start and end dates for the bottom level work breakdown structure levels, commonly the task level for most organizations. Dates can be entered using the pop-up calendar control or typed in via your keyboard. The second value that can be edited is the Estimate to Completion or ETC hours amounts, but first, resources must be added. Resources can either be employee or generic resources. The Add Resources window allows you to filter the list of resources and control what resources are displayed, either just your organization or the entire company. Multiple resources can be selected and added simultaneously. Once resources are added, the ETC hours can be edited. They can be edited either via a lump sum amount that will be spread evenly over the specified duration, or they can be edited through the calendar and incremented based on the selected calendar scale. The third value that the project manager can edit when working within the plan worksheet is resource level notes, which are just freeform notes that can be used however the project manager would like. While working with the plan, the information can be saved using the toolbar at any time. When the plan is saved, it is stored locally within Navigator and is not updated in Vision. This provides the project manager with sort of a sandbox to work in until they have the plan how they would like it at which time they can publish the plan and the information will be permanently stored in Vision. As mentioned previously, the plan state icon and associated text will always provide information on the state of the plan. At any point in time, assuming the user has the necessary rights in Vision, the baseline for the plan can be saved using the toolbar. The project manager can continue to build the plan as needed by adding and assigning resources as well as adjusting ETC hours and dates. As the project starts to proceed and people start to charge time to the project, job to date information will start to populate the plan worksheet. Any resource that charges time to the project will be automatically added to the plan even if they were not originally assigned. In addition, as the project proceeds, the project manager can use Navigator to continue to monitor, interact, and refine the project plan. Deltech Vision Navigator, changing the way you plan, review, and execute projects.